Welcome to the Round Robin segment, Hampton Hotspot. This focuses on up and coming artists who are performing in Hampton, who are from Hampton, and ties into the open mic night at the new Performing Arts Center. I am gonna turn it over now to the co-hosts for this segment, Giovanni Cruz and Jeray Bolton. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome to the Hampton Hotspot. I'm Jeray Bolton. This is the place to find out who's hot in Hampton. Today, we'll be talking with Tony Jones, a magician from Virginia Beach. So Tony, although you're from Virginia Beach, I hear that you perform a lot in Hampton also. Absolutely, I perform, well, the obvious Virginia Beach, and then I perform a lot with the Hampton Performing Arts Center, whenever they call me out. It's a great time. Cool. So how long have you been doing magic, and how did you get started? Ah, uh, I've been doing it for, if you count every day, but it's been 13 years now, since I was seven. I'm 20 now. I, uh, I started performing after going to Vegas and seeing a magician. So it kind of sparked my interest. I was like, that guy right there. Cool, you know? cool. Absolutely. Well, today I have the pleasure of serving as Tony's magician assistant. So without further ado, here's Tony Jones. Absolutely. Here, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's try something out here. And so, uh, so check this out. So I, have, uh, I carry this pen on me at all times. And, and I carry it with two caps, right? Because I never know which way is up. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean here. Check this out. Could you hold on to that for us? Sure. Look, so, uh, so look, so I. See how right now the pen's pointing up? Yeah. And right now it's pointing down. Okay. Well, look at this. If I keep turning it, the whole thing actually becomes pointless. <laughs> but it's not pointless. You just have to know which way to look, yeah? Okay. Here, look, you can take it like this, cap it up, push it through the fist. Now the point's here and the cap's here, yeah? Here, look, if you take it like this, look. So right now it's to your left. left. Yeah. So which way is it pointing? To my left. To the, which way? She's like, dude, I saw you turning. No, I wanted you to be right with the left. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> you take it like this, cap it up, and push it through the fist. Now the point's here and the cap's here. And if I take it here, which way is it pointing right now? Up. Grab it right here in the middle. If I take okay. it and cap it up, isolating the top, and you grab the top just like I have the bottom, and I snap, look, it turns itself around. I can't. <laughs> and you can go ahead and uncap that. Look, uncap it and see it's not that double-sided pen that we both thought it was. Wow. Nope. It's a regular pen. <laughs> cool. Here you go. Uh, thank you, thank you. So, so I have a couple of cards. Okay. A couple of cards, and I'm gonna show them to you. It's five cards, okay? Okay. And I want you to remember just one of them. Okay. So look at this. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And as I said, remember just one. You got one? Yes. You're sure? I'm positive. Awesome, and hold your hand out real flat. Look, I'm gonna take one of these out as a prediction. I'm gonna try to guess the one that you're merely thinking of, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right here and hold on to these. Okay. Yeah, look at this, so. <laughs> you were thinking of one card. What was the one card you were merely thinking of? I'm committed, I can't change it. The five of hearts. Look, I didn't get the five. I got the seven of spades, right? But it wasn't about me getting your card. Okay. It was about you having those choices because some people say that they saw the five. Mm-hmm. Or I get an ace, a three, a six, a jack, right? But no, no, no. You only ever had one choice from the very beginning. Check those out. All I ever saw were sevens. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There was a... And that is a little bit of what I do. So have you guys ever watched those cartoons with the Roadrunner and the Coyote, right? With the, uh, where the Coyote always tries to mess up the Roadrunner. So my favorite skit was always when the coyote would draw these circles on the sides of the rock structures to try to get the roadrunner to run into. But by the time the roadrunner would run down the road and hit it, it would turn into an actual tunnel. So that's what this is. It's, a, it's an Acme portable hole. And I can move it. I can move it from here to here, to here to here to here, wherever throughout my body. I could take it, grab it, pull it, and leave it right about there. But I'm going to try to do something a little bit different. Check this out. Watch. And you know what? Hold on real quick. Look, watch. You'll see this happen. Really? And it goes up. Awesome. Hey, do you have a uh, do you have a bill that I could borrow? Um, yeah, I think I have I think a you don't dollar. Have one. 
You did awesome. Yeah. Cool. So, so check this out. Okay. So if you took this dollar to the bank and you asked them for change, what do you think they'd give you? Four quarters. Probably four quarters. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn it into four quarters. Okay. And you can't see the quarters yet. They're not under the bill. They're not under the watch. watch okay. It looks like this. If you fold the bill mm -hmm. once, twice, three times, look at this, nothing's in the hand. Okay. Watch. Four. Look, just like that. <laughs> you get four <laughs> quarters. Look at that. Take that. <laughs> and that's for you. Thank you. <laughs>